Hello, Saints of Ascension Lutheran Church. Pastor Adam Thompson here, your new and min newly minted pastor uh, as of this past Sunday. Um, even though I'm your official pastor, we don't really know each other that well yet. I'm just getting my feet wet, just starting to get settled. And so I'm sending out the second video, as, I, as promised, to talk a little bit about my view of being a pastor and how I go about doing the work of a pastor. But before I get into that, I want to say a quick thank you. Thank you to everyone who has uh, welcomed me here at Ascension. Um, you all have made me feel very welcome um, as I get settled here and get my feet wet and start to learn uh, people's names and start to begin to become involved in your lives. Uh, and you guys succeeded at that despite the difficulties of COVID. So thank you so much for that. Now, me as a pastor. So actually to start this discussion, the thing that kept coming to my mind was actually uh, something that occurred in the first time that I visited you back in October. And this would have been prior to me accepting the call to serve as your pastor. I came and did a visit. And part of that visit was to do a open house um, town hall kind of meet and greet with some of the members of the church. And we just talked and you guys asked me some questions. I asked you some questions, but there was one question in particular that I asked most of you that I met. And that was, why did you stay, right? Whether you became a member five years ago, 10 years ago, or 30 years ago, at some point you visited Ascension and you decided that this was going to be your church home. You stayed. So I just want to know why. And to your credit, everyone had the same answer. They stayed because of the people. This was a really great answer to hear. Because I think that that really gets at one of the core understandings of the question of what is the church? The church is, the church lives within relationships. The relationships and fellowship you have between your brothers and sisters in Christ here at the church, which we typically call the gift of the body of Christ. But it is even more relevant to the church as a whole because relationships are also center um, to understanding evangelism, and the spreading of the gospel. You see, God has placed you and me in many different relationships. And within those relationships, we have what our uh, church calls vocations. That as a pastor, I have, I have a vocation as a pastor that has certain responsibilities. I have a vocation as a son that has certain responsibilities. As a neighbor, uh, as a co-worker, as a citizen, Right? And many of you have many vocational responsibilities as well. Maybe you're a dad or a mom, you're a husband or a wife, you're a grandparent, an aunt, uncle. All these different vocations come with a set of responsibilities and ways that God works through us to impact the lives of those around us with whom we are in relationships. So one of the reasons that I focus in on that is that's one of the things that gave me a passion for family ministry. And when I say family ministry, I don't just mean a mom and dad with kids at home, right? Family ministry is a much broader uh, category because some of you are grandparents, aunts and uncles, maybe you're a single parent household, uh, maybe you're a blended family, maybe you are the mom and dad with kids at home, or maybe you are uh, looking after as parents, someone who isn't your child. Everything and uh, every, every one of those and everything in between falls under the umbrella of family ministry, because family ministry primarily focuses on these vocational responsibilities within the relationships that God has already placed us in, right? So, for example, one of my vocational responsibilities to you as your pastor is to preach God's word faithfully to you, to lead you in worship, to bring you the gifts of God through the sacraments in a faithful and proper way, uh, to teach classes, etc., right? But part of my job is also to equip and encourage you to be able to carry out your vocations in a God-pleasing manner, right? So in family ministry, one of my big focuses was equipping parents, because the Bible teaches that parents are the primary spiritual teachers and formers of their children. But those are, some of our vocational callings can be difficult at times. And so once again, we get back to the relationships of the body of Christ here at the church, we're here to support one another in our effort to carry out the callings of God in our life in those relationships. 
And so one of the ways that I do that is I teach and encourage and uh, counsel and guide parents to be the spiritual leaders in their homes, right? Um, I also assist by helping teach their kids, whether it's through Sunday school, our Sunday school workers here, or through me directly in confirmation or Bible study, et cetera. Right, so I really think that is a core aspect of what it means to be the church is recognizing that we're all in relationships, that those relationships are really important and ought to be valued, and that those relationships carry with them a certain sort of responsibility, and that God works through those responsibilities in unique and powerful ways in order to further his kingdom. And sometimes that is through maintaining the brother and sister in Christ relationship we have with one another within the church. But it also includes our relational callings and our vocations that extend to people outside of the church, people who don't yet believe in God. Maybe it's my coworkers, maybe it's my neighbors in the, in the community I live in. Maybe it is a family member of mine um, who does not believe in Jesus. So that's a little bit about me as a pastor and how I view the office. Obviously, that doesn't encompass everything um, because I didn't want the video to be an hour, but I wanted to give you a little snapshot of sort of my, my ministry focuses as a pastor and the ways that I, I view the church and how I'm excited to serve you in this capacity to fulfill my vocational calling as your pastor to serve you in word and sacrament ministry and help encourage and equip you in your vocations as well. I'm super excited to do this. I'm very excited. I've gotten to know some of you already a little bit. I'm looking forward to meeting even more of you and working together with you in service to our God and the furthering of his kingdom. God's blessings, and I'll see you around.